Park Ranger Jeff Snyder and naturalist Mark Jorgensen are among the rangers and more than 60 volunteers who have come out to the 600,000 square acre state park to count bighorn sheep. Even with high-powered binoculars, the elusive animals can easily blend into this primitive terrain. You know, after seeing them, you get used to what, what kind of scale they're going to have, what color they are, and where, where to find them. They're almost always on the rock outcroppings. They, they'll stand on a high prominent spot and make sure there's no danger before they come down. We pushed ahead to an area called Palm Canyon. There's a year-round desert creek that runs through the canyon, and during the hot summer months, Bighorn must come down to this creek for water. So we've got tracks here of, of a uh, female sheep, a ewe, and it's a uh, lamb. You can see the tiny tracks. They spend maybe several hours making their way down these mountains, making sure there are no predators like coyotes or mountain lions around. When they know the coast is clear, they'll come right on down to the water, and they may spend you know, up to an hour down here. This is the seventh year that a census has been taken, and sometimes the sheep will come out in the open, and other times they will remain in hard-to-reach places. These steep granite canyons provide an excellent home for the bighorn. There's plenty for them to eat up here, like this sweet bush. The big sheep can easily maneuver around these jagged rocks, but for predators and humans, it's a lot tougher because one false step could spell disaster. They're a, a magnificent, majestic animal, and uh, there aren't that many of them to see anymore. So uh, this is one of the few places that, that you can come in, in the western United States and, and find one without too much trouble. Last year, nearly 300 sheep were spotted. The animals are protected by law, but a high infant mortality rate and disease have actually decreased their numbers. Competition with uh, wild cattle that were here uh, a few years ago and, and with uh, domestic cattle that were in here, maybe with uh, uh, their ranges being taken up, uh, their habitat destroyed by development in many areas. Uh, we have highways uh, that run adjacent to, to former water holes. We have people walking into the canyons uh, uh, where sheep live, it puts stress on them that uh, makes it hard for, hard for them to survive. Jesse Macias, News 8, the Anza Borrego Desert State Park.